<laughs> let's get into this look omg so comb up them brows let's get them brows nice and shaped y'all know i used a discontinued spice poppy um cheek color to fill in my brows now i'm going in with a light bronze concealer to shape and sculpt my brows y'all gotta make sure that y'all blend it out this is also the base of my eyeshadow so as y'all see i brought it all the way down to my eye Oh, we're in that Sienna Skies as my transition color. Dream Big as my outer eye corner. Y'all, we're in this warm hues palette. Get excited. You're going to see it. You're going to see it, okay? It is reddish browns. Ooh, and it's giving me all the life. All right, now we're in that golden possibilities in both the lid and the brow bone. All right, so I am putting that in the brow bone first and then I go back in to really blend that in with that Sienna Sky so it gives me this really seamless almost airbrush diffused look all right now this is for my foundation girls because I be struggling with the foundation over here just sometimes just because I am spoiled and I'm used to what I'm used to right so y'all see me use the light bronze setting powder to mix with my 140 liquid matte foundation Woo! trust the process okay because i'm all the way looking like a whole oompa loop over here right but y'all see how it is blending down really really well and it is starting to um melt into my skin really really nicely pat and press 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 under eye corrector y'all know i jump into that under eye corrector all the time and then go in and mix it with my light bronze concealer trait Lori hawk taught us it just gives a better overall coverage and um just a little bit more opacity and i'm probably saying that word wrong to my concealer and to cover up them dark under eye circles in which i have i'm also using to sculpt out my um contour line as well too so again pat and press pat and press all right and so I'm going on top of that with some translucent powder to set that because I am an oily girl and I decided to bake a little bit with this look. All right, so as we get into this good and amazing translucent powder and this baking, now we're going back in with our lower lash line and that dream big for my lower lash line. So I did that on both eyes and then now I'm hitting that cocoa contour. All right, and so that is our contour um powder if you want to call it and then my cheeks of course are a mix of juicy peach um hot coral and a little bit of golden copper just to give me this nice corally glow um y'all see my outer eye corner is giving like this really pretty kind of reddish brown which i absolutely love and then we're going in with the lips oh my goodness all right y'all know <laughs> dark chocolate lip liner hands down nothing else all right dark chocolate lip liner this is a phased out limited edition lip stain in coral canyon or canyon coral i think is the name of it and then i go on top of that with a little touch of orange mio because i'm just trying i just want a little bit of a corally look and then this is also a phased out rock and red which also you can replace that with iconic red instead all right so we're going again of course with our liquid eyeliner pen and you know i got the posing and stuff dusting off the excess translucent powder and everything like i was done and was not and this that point where you see I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to throw in my mascara. Okay, so <laughs> I actually went in with a um, black pencil liner on top of my liquid just to give it just a little more depth. I just wanted to be just a sconch darker. Sometimes when it gets streaky, that is a great way to do it. And so now, after I hit it with my lash intensity, I'm done. Check out your new warm hues palette. Oh my gosh, you can take yours home today. Contact your Medicaid Beauty Consultant at any time. Get excited.